All right, what I got today is a, uh, a lot of you guys down in the comments have been commenting that you want to see this uh, teardown table or this workbench, cylinder bench, whatever you want to call it. If you like that sort of stuff, you would consider going down there, clicking the subscribe, turning the bell on for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of stuff. It's a little dirty. I had to clean it up a little bit, but uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like. So, I'll pull you uh, away here. Uh, that right there is obviously where I put my tripod to get the consistent shots. But, anyways, we'll start over here with the vise. This is the uh, an old Colombian vise. right here this is an old Colombian vice right here um, it's got uh, let's see here about five inch wide jaw on it mounted to the side of the table and speaking of the table this tabletop is Let's see here, if you can see that, that's about three and a half inches thick. So this is a, this is a pretty heavy built table. On the side of the vise, I got a air hose, which just ran back to the wall back there. Little toolbox here, picks, um, Ice grips, different things, and adapters. Okay, here's a look at the front of it. Right there. Uh, let's see. I don't use it a lot, not when I'm filming, but this actually slides out like that and it'll also slide out this way some um, but what that does is I can put a rod or something in the vise and then with this I can take raise this up to height um, you know, and basically capture a long cylinder in here or something, a little longer than normal, but oftentimes I don't use that. Uh, like I said, especially filming. Um, underneath is just uh, keep some uh, old rods under there for hammering and pulling cylinders out uh, up front we've got this is basically just uh, some hooks and a standoff which is actually the trough uh, that the oil drains down into but there's also some standoffs there that uh, got our adjustable wrenches and and things on and uh, this here's the trough so it turns like this and uh, that's the underneath of it let me see if I can get you better that's the underneath there and it's on a little roller system and if you can see it uh, you can see it right there there's a piece of hose that goes down through right there that piece of hose goes down through goes down through all of that which empties into here which in turn comes down to the bottom of this 
here and empties into a five gallon bucket right there that's got a a little pad built for it and uh, that's what catches the used oil right there all right in addition to this swiveling here this also slides back and forth and it'll slide all the way up to there's enough room in there there's enough room for that to actually slide all the way up into there and uh, capture oil you know throughout this table was intentionally built for a uh, hydraulic jack uh, for hydraulic jack repair um, is who it originally came from so this is made to basically put like a bottle jack in here uh, lay it down on its side it, it's made to break the nut loose pull it off and drain all the oil out uh, moving back around there's my fan I use um, this is just parts for uh, more so for the the jack parts bottle jacks floor jacks and all that um, I just keep random stuff back here I got my three-quarter inch drive impact some sledges there the ball pane punch set freeze off of course uh, some jack oil and uh, just some miscellaneous stuff that I don't use a whole lot back there and that's about it for or there's one more thing which I don't use I'd like to get it going again but underneath this table right here there's an old like air compressor tank it's hard to see uh, but it's actually made to fill this tank with uh, jack oil or hydraulic oil whatever you want to want to use it's made to fill this tank with oil and it's got an airline going to it or had an airline going to it and a regulator and uh, it was made to pressurize that tank with oil and then basically the oil dispensed out of this uh, this flow control here and uh, out of that for uh, dispensing oil into a bottle jack or, or whatever you had so that was that's kind of cool and I'd like to get that going again and I got to get a new tube but I actually there's a there's that's where I keep my grease at right here tubes of grease in this little thing so that's it that's the bench that I use I hope that helps a little bit oh and I didn't show it but this obviously just slides in this track and that goes up and down for adjusting heights uh, I know this probably wasn't the greatest video but hopefully that gives you an overview as to what you were asking for the ones that were asking I uh, hope that helps some so if it did go down there in the comments let me know if you would consider um, going down there clicking that subscribe turning the bell on for notifications and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so until next time thanks for watching